Hi, this is Chris Duncan here again. Welcome back to the Medicare Basics video series. This is the last video in this four part video series. We are ending with Part D prescription drug plans. Researching Part D is extremely confusing, that's for sure. I hope to put away a little bit of that confusion with this video. Part D, for all intents and purposes, is a partnership between Medicare and private insurance companies. There are usually about 30 plans available to choose from in each state. They are administered by private insurance companies. If you want to get Part D of Medicare, then you need to get it from a private insurance company. And all the plans are different. We help our clients pick and enroll in the Part D plan that is right for them. Many people that are new to Medicare want to know about the late enrollment penalty for Part D and how it may apply to them. The late enrollment penalty happens when you don't enroll in Part D plan when you are first eligible. Now there are a few situations that allow you to avoid this penalty. Most common is if you don't enroll in a Part D plan because you have group or employer coverage. If you enroll in a Part D plan after you lose that group coverage, you will not incur that penalty. However, it is important to know that you have 63 days to enroll in a Part D plan after the loss of group health coverage and not incur the penalty. If you do incur a late enrollment penalty, it stays with you the entire time you have a Medicare Part D plan. This also includes if you get a Medicare Advantage plan that has Part D coverage included, even if it is a zero premium Medicare Advantage plan. So when can you enroll in Part D? Your initial enrollment period lasts seven months and usually is around your 65th birthday. It lasts three months prior to your birthday month, the month of your birthday, and three months after your birthday month. If you try to enroll in a Part D plan after this time and don't have a special election or circumstance, you are locked out of Part D until the next annual enrollment period that lasts from October 15th to December 7th. I get asked by some people that don't want to get a Part D plan in their initial enrollment period, what will happen if they want to get one at a later date? Let's say you turn 65 in February and didn't want to get a Part D plan for whatever reason. Then in July, something happened and you wanted to get a Part D plan. Maybe something happened and you were prescribed an expensive medication. Well, you're locked out. You can't enroll unless you have a special election. You will have to wait for the annual enrollment period from October 15th to December 7th. And then the plan doesn't become effective until January 1st of the next year. And because you didn't enroll during your initial enrollment time and didn't have a special election, you will also have to pay the late enrollment penalty and that will last the entire time you have a Part D plan. Next, I wanna illustrate how we help our clients pick the right Part D drug plan. There are a lot of confusing levels like deductible, initial coverage level, coverage gap, and catastrophic coverage. If you'd like to learn more about those specifics, I have a video I have made about that, and you can also go to Medicare's website. I have provided links to help you guide you to those resources. And like I said with this video, I wanna illustrate how I help our clients find the right Part D plan. Although Part D is very complicated, many times finding the right plan isn't complicated if you use the right tools. And you can use the same tools that we do. I use Medicare's Plan Finder tool on Medicare's website, and I also use my website tool as well. And you can find that tool at www.partdnow.com. That's www.partdnow.com. Here is how I do this. And remember, this is a service that we provide to our clients for free. First, I need a list of your prescriptions that you take. I also need the dosage of the prescriptions. That's usually in milligrams or micrograms. And if you happen to be taking an eye drop solution, please specify the size of the bottle. Next, I need to know how many times a day you take the prescription and last the pharmacy you prefer to use. Most Part D plans have preferred pharmacy and using a preferred pharmacy can add up to substantial savings. When I enter, this information into the plan finder system, 
It sorts out the plans available to you in your local area by total cost. One of the most common mistakes people make when purchasing a Part D plan on their own is by choosing a plan by premium alone. When I enter this information into the plan finder system, it sorts out the plans available to you in your local area by total cost. One of the most common mistakes people make when purchasing a Part D plan on their own is by choosing a plan by premium alone. What can happen is you can pick a plan that doesn't cover all of your prescriptions and then you're paying 100% out of pocket for those prescriptions that aren't covered. The reason we get that list of prescriptions from you is to make sure the plan we recommend to you first covers all of your prescriptions. Then we're able to look at all of the costs. This includes the premium, the deductible, if there is one, and what prescriptions the deductible applies to, your co-pays at the pharmacy, whether you enter the coverage gap, more commonly known as the donut hole, and if you do, how much your prescriptions will cost during the coverage gap or donut hole. Then we're able to look at all of the costs and recommend a plan that will have the lowest overall cost to you, not just the lowest premium. That takes us to the end of our Medicare Basics video series on Medicare Part A, B, C, and D. Thank you so much for watching. And again, my name is Chris Duncan. If you have a question about this or anything else Medicare related, I'm here to help. I help with Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, Part D prescription plans, dental vision hearing plans, final expense life insurance, also called burial insurance, protecting retirement savings, and more. If you'd like my help, it's easy to contact me, 800-910-3382, and be on the lookout for more of my videos. Thanks again.